You know, I guess it is our DNA. I'm looking at all these young guys and their facial features and a grandparent or a parent somewhere along the way, Joey. It, it really is a family thing here in New Brighton, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, we have our football family and it's their time, 2019, but you know, they're in a long line of, uh, you know, some great things that have happened in New Brighton football. It's their turn now. It's their time. It's not 25 years ago. We're going to flash back the Rochester game right beforehand, introduce the 25th anniversary of WBL championship, and we're hoping to head in that direction this season. All right, tell the folks who these two gentlemen are, then I'm going to have them talk a little bit. You've got Nia Green, our junior linebacker running back. we got Dylan Hupp, four-year anchor of our offensive and defensive line. Listen, I grew up with a bunch of Hupps, so you have to be a tough guy, obviously. <laughs> so talk to me a little bit about this year's team and getting ready for the challenge a few weeks away. And I, this whole summer, we spent our whole summer working, getting stronger and better, and especially with the line, and we were in there heavy lifting, doing all we could to get better, and especially with conditioning, too. When uh, summer workouts started rolling around, we got a lot of conditioning in, so I think we're going to be very conditioned and ready to roll whenever season starts. I like the way this guy talks, man. Good. Mr. Green, step up to the plate here. We'll talk about this year's season. Go ahead. Well, we've improved on everything possible. I mean, everybody's been coming up and stepping up. We, we have some weaknesses somewhere, but in the beginning of the summer it was weak, but now it's strong. Everybody has been improving from the end of the season and on. I'm loving it, folks. More to come with Joe Grico and members of this year's New Brighton Lions were at Oak Hill Field. Stay with us.